I had always wanted to have a hygrometer in order to predict the local weather. Finally, I could build myself one for virtually no money at all. A hygrometer is an instrument for measuring air moisture and when it goes up, it often means a storm is coming. You only need a piece of board, three quarters thick, six and a quarter inch wide and nine inches high. The precision sensor is very easy to get. Just ask a girl in your family with the long hair to give you a couple of hairs. Paint one side of the board white or glue a piece of white cardboard on it. Afterwards, take a small stick with a sharpened end and cut it to about 5 inches long, leaving the sharp side as the tip of the indicator needle. Close to the blunt end of the needle, tie a small length of copper enamel wire, or similar piece of wire, and this is going to be our bearing for mounting the needle to a small nail, which will be our pivot point. The wire picture here must have a couple of turns to wrap around the nail so it will hold the needle without unwanted motions. Place the nail approximately an inch and a quarter from the right edge of the board, about two and a quarter inches above the bottom edge of the board. Place another nail close to the upper end of the board, close to the right edge and as far as possible from the first nail. In my case, it was five and a half inches away. Now, tie one end of the human hair. You can use some hot melt to the upper nail and the other end to the stick we are using as indicator, about three quarters from the needle's pivot point. The needle is left at a somewhat horizontal position. So when the air is very wet, it will point slightly downwards. I drew a small sun up here and a stormy cloud below, no percentages. We must calibrate it afterwards according to the humidity in the air. When the air around is very wet, the hair will absorb some water and will become longer so the needle points down. When the air is very dry, the hair will become shorter and it will point upwards. It is practical to partially drill a hole on the back of the board so you can hang it on the wall and you're all set. I hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.